Checkers, should we draw another dog today? Yeah. Which dog should we draw? A German Shepherd. Sh shepherd. <laughs> All right, our friends, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have something to draw with and a piece of paper in front of you. We're doing another dog. We're doing the German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot of fun. German Shepherds are really cool. So we've done a bunch of other dogs too, haven't we? Yeah. And we're gonna do a lot more dogs, but the German Shepherd is uh, slightly different than some of the other dogs we've done. So, yeah. But we're gonna use a lot of the same steps. So if you haven't seen some of the, our other videos where we draw a dog, we'll leave links up here in the corner where you can click on those and watch those videos also. All right, dude, you ready to start? Yeah. Were you checking out the link up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't reach it. I think that's a little too far. Your hand's a little off oh. screen. <laughs> uh, there we go. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Ready okay. to start? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, checkers, we're going to start with our paper horse. <laughs> Are you ready now? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> we're going to start with our paper horizontal, and that's because our dog is on all fours, right? So yeah. it kind of works out so that we can draw the dog a little bit bigger this way. And we're going to start with his eye, and it's going to be right up here, kind of off to the left. So we're going to draw just a little circle, and we're drawing a little circle so that our dog is going to be a little more realistic. And then we can color in just a part of that eye, so there's a little light reflecting in his eye. Yes. Okay, next step, we're going to draw his forehead. And it's it's going to be a curved line that comes over the top of his eye, like this. And we're going to start a little past his eye at the top. We're going to come down, like that. Yeah, good job. And then we're going to draw a little hook right there for the other side of his eye. So the other eye that's on the other side of his head. Little hook. And then we're going to draw his nose that's going to come out. And that's just kind of a diagonal line that's going down. And then we're going to draw the, the rest of his nose coming back the other direction. Diagonal line. And then we're going to curl back under for the rest of his mouth and his jaw. Okay, and then we're also, we, we want to keep in mind too that we're just drawing the lines of the German Shepherd. So he's going to look a little bit like a German Shepherd, but he's going to look more like a German Shepherd when we color him at the end, okay? Okay. All right, so let's draw his, uh, let's draw his ear. So we're going to draw an upside down V. It's going to come up, and German Shepherds do have, they kind of have big ears. So they kind of go up and then back down, big V shape, upside down V. Good. And then we're going to draw another V on this side in the same height, pretty much the same height. Nice. And then let's draw another line on the back side of that for the rest of his ear. And then we're going to do the same on this side for the rest of this ear. Awesome. Good job, dude. Yeah, that looks... might have been two. No, that looks really cool. So we're going to draw the rest of his neck coming down like this, diagonally down. Good. And you could probably come a little bit further because they have a little bit longer necks. And I might have came a little too far. All right. So, and then let's come, let's come back over here and we'll draw his nose. A little curl in there, a curved line. And then we can color it in except leave a little light reflecting on his nose. Good job. All right. And then let's come back and we're going to do the neck on the front. So we could come down, or we're going to come down like this. And we could make that a little jagged if we wanted, a little zigzag so it looks like hairy. <laughs> Good job. And then let's put a little curl at the end, and that's where his chest is coming into his legs. Nice. Good job, dude. Okay, and then let's draw his front leg, his first leg. So draw one line coming down. Okay, and then we're going to do a little diagonal that's going to come down for the start of his foot. Yeah. yeah, good job. And then we're going to come out for the rest of his foot like that. A little curve. Good. Okay, now let's come back up. And we're going to do the back of his leg. So we're going to do a little zigzag for the fur that's on the back. And then come down to where that first line ended. Good job. And then we're going to come, we'll, we'll come 
in for that first kind of diagonal line. And then this is going to come down to where this one finished. So, so go ahead and keep coming down a little further. Good job. And then we'll connect them at the bottom. Awesome. And then we'll put a little toe in there. Okay, let's make it 3D. So we're going to put the other front leg in there like that. Right next to it. Good job. And then do another diagonal line. So we're just going to match and match what we already did. And then curve out for the other foot and then back in. Doesn't that look 3D? And yeah. that was pretty easy. We just drew a couple lines and he looks awesome. Okay, now let's draw his back and it's going to come down. And this is what kind of makes uh, German Shepherds a little different than other dogs. So I'm going to come back up a little higher like this, and we're going to do a diagonal line that comes down. So other dogs, they kind of, this line is a little more horizontal, and on German Shepherds, it comes diagonally down. Their back legs are a little bit lower. Yeah, good job. So, and then we're going to come around, and we're going to curve down like this. And this line is going to come down a little further. Okay, let's make sure that this back line right here, so this is the start of his back leg. We want to make sure that that ends really, actually pretty low. So we want that line to come down almost about like halfway with this leg, okay? Uh, there you go. Good job. That, yeah, and that's good. That maybe is a little low, but that's okay. <laughs> then we're going to come out like this for his back foot. Good. And then we're going to come straight down, and then this is going to come all the way down to the same length down here. So you see where you're ending it? Let's make oh. sure that lines up over there with his other foot. Yeah. yeah. So that, no, that works. So now we're going to, this is where his foot is going to, it's going into the floor. So it's on the ground. So now we're going to come back and do the front of this back leg, okay? So we're going to come over here and we're going to give some space because his back leg is really strong. So we're going, to, we're going to curve this line into the back leg like that. Yeah, good job. And then this is going to come down like that. And then we don't want to go all the way down. We want this line to stop at the same height over here. Does that make sense? Because then we can do this little curve for, his, for the toes and then connect these back in. Yes, that's awesome. So it's a little small, so I'm putting the toe right here. You could put maybe another curve right on the front so that its foot's a little bit bigger. Add the toe to the front. Yeah, just like that. Yes, so now his foot's a little bit bigger. Good job, dude. Okay, now let's do his belly, in, and we're going to imagine the chest line going through and then coming out over here, and we could do a little z uh, zigzag so that it looks like he's got a little more fur, and then this is going up towards the back, like that. Yes! So yours is really beefy. I like it. He looks super strong like a football player. <laughs> All right. Put some gear on it. Yeah, put some gear on him. <laughs> You can throw a football at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, now let's do this other back leg so it looks 3D, okay? So we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same, the same line right here, but we're going to do it over here on this side. And I'm going to come down. We're going to come down. We're going to draw it a little bit different, okay? And then we're going to curve this line back. And I should have probably stopped a little higher, but that's okay. And then we're going to do the curve for this toes. Okay, and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the other side of this foot. So we're going to come over here, come down. And then we're going to curve this back under like that. And then connect the two lines at the bottom, for the bottom of this foot. And then the little toe line in there. And then there's his other foot. So I started a little higher and we can put this and then we can shade this. So that line that I drew in there, the extra line, we can kind of hide it. All right, so he's got a cool tail. Let's draw this tail. And they always usually have their tail down. So 
So we'll put this tail down here and draw it, and then it's going to come down. So I'm drawing it kind of zigzag, and it's going to be between the legs. And then I'm going to imagine it going through his foot. Okay, so we're going to do, no, yours is perfect. It's coming out further. So we're going to curl it towards um, right here. So I'm going to imagine it going through his foot. Watch this. We're going to draw the tail coming out and then back in like that. And then I'm going to curl, imagine it in between or behind this leg and coming back up like that. So it's a little tricky because ours are different, yeah. but I think it's awesome that yours is different because they don't have to be exactly the same. This looks really cool, dude. We need to color them. Yeah. So we got the lines all done and that's what I was talking about. He kind of looks like a German Shepherd, but he'll look way cooler when his, he's got his black spot on the back mm -hmm. and he's got the orange on his on his chest and stuff okay okay so let's pick those colors out and we'll come back okay okay all right chuckers we got our awesome colors picked out we're gonna use black we have a light brown a dark brown a cream color and a yellow we're using prisma color colored pencils um, and if our art friends want to use the exact same colors this is a yellow ochre this is a cream color this one this is a burnt ochre uh, burnt umber or sorry dark umber and then this is a burnt ochre the light brown and then black is just black okay 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 all right you ready to start yeah okay the first thing that we're gonna do is kind of like what we did with some of the other uh, dogs is we're gonna start with our light brown and we're just gonna do a light layer over the whole thing but we want to do we want to make the the fur texture okay? okay okay so if we're doing short fur are we gonna have long strokes or short strokes short strokes. yeah so let me show you really quick so if we're doing uh, strokes on the, we're coloring in the neck or the fur of the dog uh, on the neck, we're gonna do little short strokes like this back and forth. We don't wanna do really long strokes because it'll look like he needs a haircut, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, German Shepherds kinda have medium fur. It's not too long and not too short. All right, so let's speed it up. We're gonna go through the whole thing and, and fill them in like this, okay? Awesome. Checkers, you did such a good job on the fur. And you know why you did such a good job? Is because the fur actually follows his body. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So it's coming down his neck and then it goes and then it turns and it goes down his body. You did a really good job. All right, Cade, now we're done with the light brown and we're gonna switch to the dark brown now. So this is where we're gonna start putting some of that texture or some of the pattern on his fur so that he starts looking more like a German shepherd. So yeah. I'm gonna draw a line. Are we gonna come down off the top of his nose? And this is gonna, we're just gonna draw the little pattern or the shapes that are on his body, okay? So we're gonna come down and then, so this does a little S down to the line down here, his jaw down here. Okay. Good job, okay? And then we're gonna come up here and let's actually fill this in and we'll come back and we'll keep doing the rest of the stuff, okay? Okay. Okay, now let's come up to his eye and we're gonna do a little pattern around his eye. So we're gonna go around his eye, do maybe a U shape that goes over his eye. And then we're gonna come down and we'll connect it down here on the bottom and we can fill that in. So his eye's a little bit bigger. Then we're gonna do a little uh, texture that comes up or a little shape that comes up over his forehead. And we can come over here and kind of do a little more shading on the back side, so the other side of his eye. And then let's also do a little texture or some shading under his eye and then behind his eye too. It's a little spot. There we go. Okay. Now let's come up here and we'll do some in his in his ear. So we're gonna do a little shading that connects the bottom right there. And then went up the top too. Come down. And we're using short strokes, right? Mm-hmm. Then let's add some shading to the back of his ear. And then I'm going to also do short strokes that come down around his face and down to his neck. Like this. Nice job. Okay, and then we'll come back over here to his other ear. Awesome. Kate, now let's come down here. We'll just start doing, he's got a cool uh, 
it's not really a spot, but his back is shaded almost all black. So I'm doing a little line that comes down off his neck first. And then I'm gonna do another line that comes down off of his neck, but comes down to the bottom of, or the uh, back of his leg. And so that kind of looks like where the fur is um, bunched up together and it gets a little darker there. Okay, now the shape all that's on his back comes down off his neck and then it's gonna curl around like this. And I'm gonna do zigzags and it's gonna go over to his back where his tail comes out. Okay, so and then let's do short strokes and fill that in. So then that, I'm, so I'm also adding a little shading back here behind his tail and then I'm gonna add some shading underneath on his back, uh, on his back leg so that it looks like it's in shadow, like there's shadow back there. See that? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna, while you're still doing that, I'm gonna add a little more shading I'm gonna, just under his feet, the very bottom of his feet, and on the back too. Also, in Checkers, man, you did such a good job. Now, he already is looking a lot more like a German Shepherd, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get our black, and we're going to add a little more darkness to uh, to his patches. So we're just going to add a little more black to the top of his nose right here, and then we can also add a little black to the front of his eye, and this is just going to add a little more shading, and then I'm also going to add black right here at the back of his neck, and then blend it out as it goes down and then do the same thing on his back. The top of it to look really, really dark and then fade out to the lighter brown. Okay, now let's get our medium brown again or the light brown and we're gonna go back over and blend over top of the dark. And then we're also gonna come, so I'm gonna, so I'm pressing harder and going back over that light layer that we did first and this is gonna add more shading. You see that? See how it's yeah. kind of smoothing it out and looking a little cooler. We're using really short strokes so that it still looks like fur. Okay, and then we're gonna do it really dark on his back of his neck. And then as you get to the front of his neck, you can get lighter. Okay, and then the same thing down here, I'm gonna go over the black and blend it out. And then as I go down the front of his leg, I'm gonna get darker. It looks like shading. And then come down, and then as I get to the bottom of his paws, I'm gonna get a little lighter. Okay, and then the same thing when we come back here to the back of his body it'll get really dark when we're blending in the the uh, dark brown and it just smooths the, everything out and then down here when he comes down through his leg i'm going to press harder through the middle of his leg like that and then also back here on the back shade but leave it light towards the front of his leg so our friends can pause it if it's if I'm not really doing a good job of explaining. They can pause it and then kind of look at what we're doing and then just try to match it by looking. So I'm going to blend also his back leg, the one that's behind, and do the same thing. I'm going to shade the bottom of his foot like this, but leave the front of it lighter. And I'll come in and shade his tail too. Are you having fun? Yeah. Promise? You yeah. can tell you're concentrating. <laughs> All right, checkers, let's get our yellow and we're gonna just add some yellow so that it looks even cooler. We're just gonna blend in and I'm doing this right through the middle of his body, okay? okay. So I'm not going into the dark spot that's uh, the dark side that's on the right side or the light side that's on the left. Just doing it right in the middle, and this just adds some more cool texture to his body, to the fur. Okay. 
Okay, and then the last step is uh, we're gonna get the cream color and we're gonna go back over the, the light part. So the parts that where the paper is kind of showing through, the white of the paper is showing through. You can go back over with this cream color and then smooth it out. Shockers, good job, man. He turned out super awesome. The, he looks real, he looks very realistic with the fur, and that's because you that's because you did those short strokes, and then we also did a lot of the shading. And it's cool using all of those colors and blending them together because he looks more realistic. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promised you had fun. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite part though? Uh, drawing and coloring. Drawing and coloring them. He looks awesome. And it's okay that they look different, right? Yeah. Because what is the most important thing? To have fun! <laughs> yeah, we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your German Shepherds with us. We, I'm sure they look awesome, right Checkers? Yeah. You like drawing with them? Yeah. Yeah. We hope you guys are drawing with a friend too. If you're not, be sure to invite a friend over and ask them to draw a German Shepherd with you. And when you're drawing with them, be sure to tell them that they did a good job on their drawing. Yeah. You did a good job on your drawing, Checkers. You did a good job on your drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends. Arf. Wait, what was that? I went like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>